G'day, I'm Christopher. I've just bought this Duino Tech voltage boost module and I decided to do a little video on my experiments with it. So what I'm trying to do today is I've got a 12 volt load. Now I'm representing my 12 volt load by this little 12 volt fan here. I want to run my 12 volt load from the 240 volts. So what I've done is I've, I've ransacked my plug packs box for a plug pack. I found a 12 volt one and sure enough if you plug it in the fan runs off the 12 volt. Now that's fine but what I want it to do is I want it to run when the power goes off. So I need a battery backup. I happen to have a battery in the shed as well. This one says okay but low capacity. I measured it in 2016 by the look of it so it, it's probably good enough anyway. We'll see what the voltage is. 12.6 volts so that's half decent for a, a battery being, being kept in the shed for a few years. It should be fine for my application. It should run my little fan for, for a fair while if the power goes off. Now, the trouble is, the voltage that comes out of this 12 volt battery pack, out of the, sorry, the voltage that comes out of the 12 volt plug pack is not exactly the right voltage. So, it comes out at 12.4 volts. So if I hooked the 12 volt battery into that circuit, it would actually be powering it over and above what the the plug pack is at the moment. So we need to get that voltage higher. How high do we need to go? Well, this says uh, cycle use, no I want standby use, so I want 13.8 volts. So I want to increase my 14.4 volts up to 13.8 volts. And that's where the little DC voltage boost module comes into play. So according to the thing on the back, what this should be able to do is you put in your 12.4 in the left side there and you can adjust it so that you can get out 13.8 volts. That's what I'm after. Okay, now I don't actually, I haven't actually used one of these things so I don't really know what I'm in for. It has very few instructions on it. There probably are more instructions online, but I'll, it looks pretty simple, so let's see how we, how we go. It's simple enough to get out of there. Uh, I, I just, I, I went into JCAR looking for a 13.8 volt power supply. They didn't have one, but they said, hey, you could try this. So, what do we have? We have all sorts of little, we've got a little switch and little LEDs and all sorts of things. Let's try hooking it up and see what happens. Looks like I'm going to need a little screwdriver. Right, see how we go here. If I put my 12 volts input, oh yeah, I've got minus and plus. In we go. Okay, let's see what happens when we turn it on. Oh, there you go. 22.7. Now I assume that that is an output. Got a switch. Oh, there we go. Input to 12.8. 22.7 is the output. Gee, that's pretty simple, isn't it? Okay. Another little, a little adjustment there. I don't want it to 22. I want it to 13.8. So let's try adjusting that. Down we go. It's a many turn pot. Thirteen point eight it is. Now let's just measure that to make sure. Yeah, that's a bit different to what that says, so let's adjust it until the voltmeter 
says the right thing. Thirteen point eight three sounds fine, and that says fourteen point four. Good enough for me. Either of those are actually fine for the for the battery. So I suppose we better hook it up. I'm going to have to make some more wires. I'll be back. I'm back. I've got some wires now. Let's uh, put this one onto here. So we've got our. We say it's setting fourteen point three. I measured it as 13.8, didn't I? So there we go, 13.8 volts there. Positive, yes. So what I'll do is I'll put the battery on there. And we'll see what happens, because it should start charging the battery, which means it'll be quite a, a load on it. Now this thing can handle a lot. It was in the amps, up to six amps output, uh, so that would be heaps. But this thing won't won't supply that. This is not that powerful. So we'll see what happens when I hook it up. Here's one of these ferrules. What do we got here? This is the positive and the positive. Negative and the negative. Our fan is going. Okay, so where are we? If I hopefully the terminals will work this time. So the fan is just running from the battery. And I want it to run from the power supply. This is being very annoying, let's turn it all off. Okay, so these terminals are not very good ones. But they're good enough if you put a big enough thing in there by the look of it. Okay, so now if I turn that on, Turn the battery on, it runs. Turn the power on, it is going. Good, so now we have a battery that is charging. Apparently. I thought it was 12.6 before. Right. So we have a battery that's hopefully charging at the same time as running the the fan. So a voltage in 12.44, a voltage out under load. It's 12.4. Let's take the battery off. Thirteen point four now. So it's not thirteen point eight. Let's just adjust it up a bit to thirteen point eight while the fan's running, because the fan will never be stopped.
Okay, so 13.8 volts with the fan running. And then under load, it's charging the battery. Very good. I wonder what that would do if I don't have the battery on. Good. If I unplug the fan, what do we have now? 14.2. Okay, so it's a different voltage under load. So the moral of the story is set the voltage under the load that you want, but that should be fine there now. That should charge up to 13.8. Might leave it there, come back later and see how it goes, see if it has charged the battery. So at the moment we are 12.4. I'm hoping it'll go up and not down, as long as the power supply has enough power. Uh, now this is interesting, what's happening here, you might see every now and then this light blinks, there we go, and that blinked at the same time. It's overloaded the the little power supply. So you can see here it's supplying is 12.4 and then every now and then it fails. Uh, so it is charging the battery. It's possibly charging the battery. If it has enough power it's charging the battery. It's getting warm there. So this is being overloaded by charging the battery. If we take that off, my guess is it'll... Yep, so it's, it's now got plenty of power to power the, the load, but not power the charging the battery at the same time. It might be okay. It might just continue doing that until the battery gets up to high enough voltage that it's not using as much power anymore. So I might just leave it and see. We'll see what happens, because that, that would be fine in, in the way that I want to use this. It's mainly just sitting there with a fully charged battery, not very not doing anything except for powering the, the load. And then it would only be a problem if the power goes off, the battery has to take over the load, and then the battery depletes, then when the power comes back on again it then needs to charge up the battery. So that's what it's doing now. We'll see if it actually works or, or whether it's not having enough power in this whole cycling business to charge up the battery. We'll see what happens. Okay, here we are. It's tomorrow and we can see that this is still doing this. Still resetting so the it hasn't obviously hasn't got up to voltage yet. Let's check what the voltage is. So at the battery it's 12.3 something like that. If I unplug it, we have 12.36. So it's a bit less than what it was yesterday. So obviously with the cycling and so on, this thing isn't giving us enough power to run the fan and charge the battery. So, need to go plan B. In this situation, we have our little power supply here. It's being overloaded. It's got enough power to run the fan, but it doesn't have enough power to charge the battery at the rate that the battery wants to charge. So what we can do is we can slow down the rate that the battery is charging. I don't really care how fast that charges. It can charge, take a week to charge up for all I care. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a resistor in line with just the battery component. So it will still power the fan directly but then the battery will be running through the resistor. So I found this resistor in my bunch of resistors so I wanted a, um, a big wattage, a power resistor, but I wanted a fairly low ohm. So I've got this one, I've got two of them, 560 ohms 5 watts. 
I've put two in parallel because 560 ohms is a bit much, really. Uh, so in parallel they give 280 ohms, I think it was, which should give us something like 50, 45, 50 milliamps of charging current. It's not very much. I'd probably still rather a bit bigger, but this is what I had in the cupboard. Okay, so if I've unplugged the battery. This has now stopped resetting. It's running the fan fine. I'll put this in here. Then that's now hopefully charging the battery at 50 milliamps or so. It's coping fine, the voltage is fine. What's the voltage here? So it's 13.4 on this side of the resistor. On this side of the resistor we have 12.3 and it will be slowly increasing over time in theory. Okay, the problem with this is when we turn off the power that also limits now that it's running off the battery it limits what the load can actually take out of the battery so it can now take the 50 milliamps or so which is actually enough to run this fan it's not running it terribly quickly but it is running it so what we can do here is we can put in a diode a diode will put in let, let, let us run power back that way but not take too much when we're charging that way so I've got this little diode here I've hooked it up this way around so if I put it in this direction it'll pass current back through that way and we should see the fan speed increase yes I don't know if you can hear that or not but I heard that go quite a bit faster now we can also tell demonstrate that with the voltage if we look at the voltage down here okay so with our 50 milliamps we're running off three volts or so if I put the diode on there it takes it up to 11 and a half or so we've got a little bit of voltage lost with the, the diode there we've got a little bit running through the resistors and a whole lot more running through the diode so that would be fine for things I've got out of the cupboard that's fine if I was going to do this and go and purchase things then I'd buy a, a resistor with a a bit lower resistance to do this purpose so I then didn't need the diode good so we've got our backup system powers on charges the battery powers off runs the fan from the battery and at this rate it'll run it for a very long time at 50 milliamps with this this battery even this very old battery okay so in summary this is a nice little unit cost about twenty dollars from jcar so we've got a, a voltage display you couldn't see that very well on the video but it's quite quite bright in real life little button there tells you it switches between the voltage input or the voltage output display so in my case where I'm looking at a battery backup situation I'll probably put that on the voltage input and then I know if the power goes off this shows zero that's what the situation is the little adjuster there is fine the screw terminals are a bit fiddly but they were fine if you put something large enough in there put a ferrule on your wires and you'll be fine very handy little unit uh, boosts upwards not downwards so uh, anywhere from three volts which means you could use this off a lithium battery and you get up to 35 volts they reckon out of it so you can put 30 uh, three volts in get up to 35 volts out there you could you could run your 12 volt things off off three volt lithium cell single cell all in all a nice little thing